are you, uh, fellow Netflixitarians? I just wanted to share a couple things today. How are you? I have been living my best life. I have been flourishing. I have been taking this time to reflect in. Just wanted to give you a little bit of insight. I have music dropping. In about a week, I have something new dropping. The week after that, something new coming. The week after that, I recently just dropped a couple days ago. Go check the link in my description to listen to this beauty right here. This time I feel like it might just get somewhere. I might just get somewhere. This here is a sold out. Anyways, I wanted to talk about some Netflix shows that I really love because I watch Netflix all the time. I have Netflix, I have Hulu, I have Roku. So I, that comes with a whole bunch of free channels. What else do I have? I wanted to get Disney Plus, but like I don't have the money for that monthly. I used to have Amazon Prime video and some of the stuff on there is actually pretty good. And let's just get into the Netflix shows that I thought was cool and funny and amazing. And you're going to thank me for it because you're going to love them. Just give me one second here. Which isn't in any specific order. These are just Netflix original shows that were bomb to me. Like, Netflix, do you? Like, Hollywood ain't even, like, a thing no more. Like, I'm trying to get on a Netflix show. Like, number one, I'm telling you, this isn't in no specific order. Because they're all good in their own way. And I don't think we can really... Why we always gotta compare things? Why we always gotta be competing? Number one, The Queen's Gambit. When I tell you that this show makes me want to play some chess <laughs> or like go watch a chess turn, it's amazing. Her acting, the main character's acting is so good. She looks like a little, she looks like a porcelain doll. She's so beautiful. She has the cutest little button nose. It's bomb as hell. I love the plot of it. I love the story of it. I love the dramatic element of it. And there's like a hidden meaning in it. And I love it, I just love it. Next up is Black Mirror. This show right here, I'm eating, I'm sorry. Black Mirror has gotta be the most mind bending show that I've ever watched. First of all, the first season of, I think there's one or two seasons. Let me explain it to you differently. Every single episode, in the first two seasons are completely different. Every single episode is a new story. Every single episode has new characters. Some of the characters get recycled in the story. Some of the stories connect. But then Black Mirror came out with a movie called Bandersnatch and it's interactive. It's like you're playing a part in the character's life and you get to make him choose things and he can even talk to you at one point if you get there. I watched it like five, six times and I seen all the outcomes happen because I wanted to see all the outcomes because I found out there was more than one outcome. Just so you know. <clears throat> and yes, I, I did win one time out of five. The next one, the third one is you. Let me tell you, Mr. Stalker guy, leave these ledges alone. <laughs> Nah, for real though, You is such a good show. The characters, the acting, the plot, it's crazy. And season two, my girl, Love, you're gonna love, love. Number four, The Umbrella Academy. This one right here, cool as hell. Some really cool characters. There's even some really cool backstories. They all get separated. They all find each other. I just finished season two. I think there's gonna be a season three. Don't know how Vanya's gonna work out. It might have to be Vanyo or something. Next show, number five, I think. Stranger Things. I love it. Eleven. Her little boyfriend. I I can't remember all the names right now, like any of these characters. But listen, I love all these shows. I've watched all these shows. I've seen both seasons of Stranger Things. Number six is Grand Army. It's one of the newer ones, but oh my gosh, when you watch it, it has some very deep scenes, like. This one scene I don't particularly agree with 
and if you want me to make a video on that please comment below and i'm like dissecting just that scene and what really happened who's really at wrong they all are if you were wondering but um number seven number seven is probably one of my favorite favorites like not even out of netflix original shows like just shows in general and it is the haunting of hill house i freaking love this show i love the it's so mind-bending it gives you freaking chills it wants you to know what's gonna happen next like the plot the setting the story the characters the acting and with haunted hill house comes bly manor and i just watched that and that is one of the newer ones as well and i liked it a lot i did but it was a little confusing because you know the kids and the ghosts that live in you gotta watch it i'm not gonna i ain't gonna be the one to spoil it for you get out of here number eight has to be ratchet has to be because have you watched it because the way it was made is just so cinematic it was nothing like the original it was actually really different from the original because in the original ratchet is like a biatch and in this one ratchet knows what she's doing but she just wants to help her brother she just wants to find love she just wants to be herself i don't know i really liked it because i like the um acting i love my girl sarah paulson i love my other dude from american horror story it was um a really great recreation of the book and the older movie and i think you should give it a watch just like all the other stuff in this list because it's all great number nine is on my block and i really like this one too i don't know i really like like high school setting shows sometimes because it brings back memory it's been two years since i've been in school I hated every second of it, but let me tell you, I like watching these shows about it. So, On My Block is about these kids that live kind of in the ghetto, just basically in the wrong area. Everyone's very segregated and sectioned off into their own race, and there's a lot of race wars, there's a lot of territory wars, and you get the backstory of some of the characters, and some of them fall in love, and they're so young and cute, and it gets dramatic. It's such a good show. I think it's on season two now. I'm waiting patiently for season three. Number 10, last but not least, has to be Altered Carbon. This has been one of my favorite shows, one of my top shows since I've first seen it, okay? It reminds me a lot of the Black Mirror series. It's very sci-fi, very futuristic, super, super cool, very nice plot. Altered Carbon is about immortality. So basically, people are putting their souls into these stacks, and these stacks are just like slipped into the nape of your neck, and you're stored there. So... You are no longer your body, you are this stack because that's what your soul is. And they can take your stack out and they can plug it into a computer and you stay there in that computer forever. Or they can take your stack out of one body and put it right into another body when that body dies. That's the only way you can stay alive is if you keep your stack alive. Stack is destroyed. That's your last life, baby. I would have to say that those literally are my top 10 favorite shows from Netflix, original Netflix shows. They did their thing. All the blood that you need, all the nudity that you need, all the swearing that you need, not too much, not too little, you know what I mean. I think that that was a pretty good list. So if you think that was a pretty good list, like this video, subscribe, and watch another video because I'm weird, you're weird, why not be weird together? In my internet home, virtual hug. Thanks for watching so much, guys. I have so much other stuff coming at you very soon. So. Be waiting, be watching, be warned. I love the hustle, I bet you do too. So let's cry together. You are the gang. <laughs> Bye.